All right, sports fans, it's race day here at GMBN, and we're going to try and answer a really interesting question. Is an e-biker faster than a pro-level cross-country racer? My God, how am I fit? Of course, e-bikes with their extra power are going to be fast up the hill. But are they when it's a tight single track, technical climb, and you've got a really fit rider on a really light bike, how much will the difference be? We will find out because the course today, starting at the bottom of the hill, we've got a technical climb right to the very top, a more mellow descent halfway down the mountain, followed by another climb to a technical descent. So that's the course. What about the pilots for today? Well, let's start with the e-mountain biker, Matt Davies. He is hidden talent behind the camera at GMBN. You may recognize him from the EMBN video where we raced here. Stakes today, actually, I forgot to say. So one of our cameramen, Matt, is also racing on his e-bike. He's an absolute ripper. So my only goal today, really, is to beat Matt. In the lead up, one one, hit the main. Do that. <laughs> the settings are wrong, then, aren't they? We'll break the hand second place is Matt Davis! <laughs> yeah, <it's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> this very spot, and he almost picked me, so he's very fast. Not quite fast enough. But he's some operator on a bike. But let's say his fitness is a little bit lacking. So Matt raced a lot of junior downhill. He's now a videographer and still an active racer. Matt, how are you feeling about today's race? Really relaxed. Okay, there you go. So is the e-bike your only bike? It is. I snapped my last bike and I only like going downhill and not uphill. How do you like your chances today? I'm feeling confident. Perfect. Let's meet your competitor. Our cross-country racer is our new presenter here at GMBN, Isaac Mundy, who has raced on the road and has previous experience at cross-country World Cups, so still super fit, and he's no slouch on the downhills. Isaac, how are you feeling for today's race? I'm feeling quite apprehensive. Yeah, I'm you excited. Be. It's my first time bike park Wales. Okay. It's my first time doing this. <laughs> it's kind of I'm counting excuses. motor race. Three. But I really shouldn't have any excuses. I've been spending a lot of time on my bike racing and riding. How do you think it's going to go? I don't have no idea what's going to happen. It's cool. It's, yeah. yeah. I'm just going to have to really leave it all on the track, see how the legs are feeling, <laughs> as they the platitudes that get trotted out. And um, yeah, just do just go really hard. All right, let's take a look at their race machines. Matt is riding his very own Scott Ransom E-Ride. Of course, it's got like 250 watts of average assist, 75 newton meters of torque, and a 625 watt hour battery, which I don't think we'll be needing. I think it's gonna be a full turbo race. This bike weighs 27 kilograms. It's got a mullet wheel size setup, and it's well used, as you can tell from the dent in the swing arm and the worn out rear tire. Its weight and its 180 mil of travel probably isn't that well suited to getting up the hill that fast, even with that extra power. But of course, it will bomb back down the hill under the capable hands of Matt. So uh, this could be an interesting race. The cross country machine is this Canyon Lux, their World Cup cross country race bike. Uh, it's full carbon fiber, 29er, 100 mil of travel, slam front end, it's super lightweight, around 11 kilograms. So, how is the power to weight ratio going to work out in the climb? How fast are they going to be down the hill? Let's find out. My God, why did I sign up for this? Sprinting at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, thank you. Oh, let's go. Let's go. 
I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm like her recovering the coins. Oh. Above the limit, though. It's so hard. And it's not. <laughs> it's not. Going good. He's got no chance. He's got no chance. Still can't see him all the way down this road. So I think I've got a decent lead. But I can feel my breathing and my hands. This is rough on the ass, maximum efficiency. Because if you've seen the shape of my body, you know I'm an efficient guy. That doesn't normally race for that long, so we'll see. The riders are arriving at the top of the hill. Let's check the clock. Matt has got there in 14 minutes 42. Oh. I'm not gonna cruise, I'm not gonna go flat out either, just to keep it nice. So, oh, it's rough. Oh, it's gonna be rough for Isaac on that little dinky bike of his. Isaac plus one minute 59. to the bottom of the first descent. Matt's there in 18 minutes, one second. No brakes. I haven't got time for braking. Well, have I? It's a loose corner. Ah! Whereas Isaac, 1953, plus one minute 52. He's managed to claw back seven seconds, and now it's on to the fire road, which is flat and down, and then a long drag of a climb, so mostly above the speed limit of Matt's e-bike. My mouth is so dry. Oh my God, it's dusty. I haven't done this so much exercise in ages, but it's a kick up the ass I needed.
Hello, buddy. Oh, I wish I could see Matt. I got a sweaty forehead. Lovely. It's a wild bear. Look at the grizzly beast. Matt has got a really healthy advantage, but is he blowing too hard to ride this big final descent fast? Oh, go trail. Birds flying high. You know, oh, oh yes. Ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah, boy. This is unreal. It's perfect. What a trail. It's one of those trails but you don't feel tired because it's so nice and flowy. You just enjoy it. I think it's had a refresh because, ah, oh, slapping turns, yeah. Slapping turns. Oh, it wasn't the top. Oh, no. Dropping into the final descent, Isaac has managed to claw some more time back, but he's still plus one minute 41. 11 seconds he clawed back on that fire road. This is insane. Some trail, some trail. Unbelievable death. With the XC's highest, it's rolled so fast. Jump, jump. Tired, that's gonna kill, take a break. Trust me, I know. Rest area. Oh, I'm dying for it. Give me a break. Energy's come. Oh, it's a squirrel. Don't want that between your spokes. Right, the energy's coming back a bit. I might just open up for this last section. Give us some beans. Let's go. Ah, my God, should have sent that to the center. I'm starting to cramp up in the legs. As I got it, can I make the finish? Cross country World Cup racer. This is a fat e-biker. Of course I'd win. Unless he's right on my tail. Isaac, you there? Nah, didn't think so. Oh, we're not in the clear yet. Oh. I'm cramping up. So to the final times, yes. Matt took the win with a total time of 31 minutes, 44. Take it the win. Yeah. <laughs> Easy as that. I was cramping up at the bottom then. Big long downhill to finish on. I didn't realize it was that long. My oh, God. I tried to stay on the limiter the whole time. <laughs> oh. You feeling it? Like properly revved out heart rate? I was. Um, 165, which isn't bad. Not bad. But I chilled all the way down that descent because I didn't want to crash right at the end and give it away. <laughs> no sign just yet. Why do they do this to us? I should be eating tea and biscuits behind a computer screen editing videos just like this one. But I guess well, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. So I'll reap the rewards of being able to ride my bike in the woods racing cross-country racers who don't know how fast e-bikers are. There he is! 
Isaac plus one minute 17 back. So we did manage to catch back 42 seconds after that first climb. Isaac, just crossed the finish line. How are you oh. feeling? I ain't seen you for quite some time, have I? <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we have it on this course in these conditions. The e-bike and Matt was faster. Uh, Isaac, how do you think it could have been a bit closer? Changes in the course, maybe? Maybe. I'm, I'm happy with how close it was. To be honest, I thought I was going to lose a lot more time, and it's maybe just a course it was more up and down. Might have been a bit of a closer race, but uh, yeah, e-bike's just so good on the steep climbs. After after the first climb, you did make a bit of time on sense. Matt, what were the limitations of the e-bike? Well, there was no limitations of the e-bike. It was just my <laughs> fitness and lack of ability to concentrate after the climb. Do you think you'd be able to go a lot faster on the e-bike if you were super fit? Yeah, definitely. You just pedal over the top? Yeah. Interesting. Right, there you go. Let us know what you ride, if you like an e-bike, uh, if you like going faster on a normal bike. Get involved in the comments down below and let us know if you want to see any more races between these two.